Imagine where else I'd want to be anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, I kind of have yeah, everything I want around here, you know. I've yeah, got a great crew, beautiful scenery here, and good biking, good skiing. And uh, yeah, I can grow food here, good water. Yeah, so kind of got the basic necessities. <laughs> I was fortunate to grow up in Langley, just outside of Vancouver there, and uh, grew up skiing at Hemlock, so it was like, kind of grew up in the Coast Mountains. My family wasn't a skiing family at all. One of my dad's buddies, he had some kids, so he was like, yo, we're going up to Mount Washington for the weekend, you want to come up and come skiing with us? So we went up there, had a great time, and then that same family went to Silverstone the next year. So we just kind of got on this program of going on like this annual ski trip. And then uh, my parents definitely saw that I was like really falling in love with it. And then when I was 14, um, they heard about this freestyle ski club up at Hemlock Valley. They're like, huh, this song could be cool for the family. <laughs> so they would like drive me and my sisters up on the weekend. And so that's kind of how it started, you know. After high school, I got invited to come on the uh, provincial freestyle ski team. That's when uh, like Big Air and or people were just like the whole new school movement was just starting to happen. And so that's when I was like, wow, that looks like a lot of fun. I was like, wow, I can make 200 bucks at this Big Air contest. That sounds pretty rad. <laughs> and then that turned into like 500 bucks and then 800 bucks. And I remember I made 1,200 bucks one time and I was so psyched. We are in Pemberton, British Columbia, hanging at my house. And um, yeah, it's kind of my, my sacred space here. Definitely really fortunate just, you know, being a skier, having time off in the summertime grants me the opportunity to be able to, you know, learn how to do all this. Yeah, when we, uh, we first looked at moving into this house here, you know, I'm doing a little walk around the house, and it's definitely a really cool house, and it has funky construction and whatnot. But it wasn't really until I walked into the backyard that I, I truly fell in love with this place. You know, as soon as I saw that, that river flowing back there, I knew right away that this is the place I want to be. It's a great place for healing, you know, especially with having having access to the trails for biking and hiking and you know, it's a healthy place for me to be. So a number of years ago uh, I read an article on hydrotherapy and just reading up on all the benefits from helping out with lactic acid to just helping out with blood flow in your heart and just the list goes on and on and on. And so I was like, well, I want to be able to experience all those health benefits. It's like taking a double shot of espresso every time I hop in that cold water. Yeah, it's like such a good way to start the day. This gives me a lot of energy. 
it, it never gets easier hopping in the cold water, you know? It's like your body starts to get used to it, but your mind is like, it's always a challenge. Like, I always have to stare down for a minute. I'm like, are you sure you want to do that this morning? Which is good, you know? It's like good just to have a little, a little challenge for yourself every morning. This year I was home from February all the way through April. And uh, yeah, just like really fell in love with where I live all over again. Just, uh, it's kind of reminding me of why I moved here initially. Like skiing around with Hoji and Rubens, we discovered all these pillow zones that I'd never been to before, so that was really cool and then started venturing north towards uh, like up and over the Hurley and yeah, just discovered all these spine lines that you can sled right to the top of. Yeah, my mind was kind of getting blown all over again. It's like, there's still so much to explore. I've been sled skiing and skiing around here for just about 20 years and I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. Mm -hmm. 